the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, happy belated Thanksgiving to y'all. The Texas Longhorns finally got a win and their longest losing streak since 1956. So it's a good day. It's a good day. And Tiafimo Lopez has a new contract. And that's what today's show is all about. We're going to get into what 2022 has this over Tia Fimo. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, all forms social media. Quick hits comes at you uh, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Also, uh, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. A lot of new content on that channel. Uh, please go to that channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Um, boom. All right, let's get into today's show. Tia Fimo Lopez obviously has a fight tomorrow. Uh, first, I want to just address some housekeeping stuff. Um, there, there's a rumor going around that the weigh-in was fixed. Um, that you know, because Tiafimo Lopez weighed in um, with pants and shoes on, and he came. In. Okay, look, they've had um, show weigh-ins uh, for a while now. I've been to them. I, you know, they had the fighters weigh in early, so. You know, go weigh in and go rehydrate and go eat. And then we'll have this little show thing, ceremonial weigh in is what they call it, uh, is what Rob in the UK told me it was called. Guys, these aren't new. This is not a new thing. Um, So they've been around for a long time. So this is not anything new or sensational or spectacular. Um, But please, uh, T.F. Lopez made way. If, if you look at him, if you see a fight at a weigh-in, he's drained and dehydrated, especially you know, a non-heavyweight fight, um, especially a guy as big as T.O. And then he weighs in, and you see he's rehydrated. They have a sh- they have a show. They have an official weigh-in early, and then they have a show weigh-in when they do the whole you know dog and pony show. Um, this is not new. This is not interesting. So let's just get over that. Um, Top rank, Bob Arum has announced that uh, they have reworked Tiafimo Lopez's contract. And he's uh, the, the new contract includes him fighting three times um, in 2022. And we want to get into who that could be. Obviously, he fights George Cambosis tomorrow. Um, I know some of you are excited about that. Most of you are not. I expect him to pretty much steamroll Cambosis. But who may he fight in... Um, 20, uh, 2022. Uh, we, we, we know that this fight is on the zone. This is Eddie's fight, uh, but he has a top ranked contract, which means we find on ESPN. Um, I, I don't know what this means, um, for Eddie Hearn and, and, and Matchroom and the zone. I don't know, right? Um, he's not gonna be at least next year, he's not gonna be a Matchroom fighter, um, but they have a working relationship now. So does that mean that we're closer to um, a fight with Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia? Well, let's put Ryan Garcia on the shelf because you know he hasn't been active in almost a year now. It's been ten months or more, um, and there's nothing for him. So. Williams is a uh, uh, or does he go to 40? If he goes to 40, obviously the big fights are on the top rank side, you know. Um, but y- you have obviously Josh Taylor who has all the belts at 140. Now, that would be a great fight. That would be what I want. Like, I would want T.O. to go win this fight. Uh, we can talk about Devin Haney, whatever. Uh, Go fight Devin Haney, get all the belts, and then fight Josh Taylor. And then you have one more fight left uh, on the docket for 2022. Let that be a mandatory or whatever you have. But th- that would be where I want um, TFE Lopez to go for 2022, right? We know that he's got three deals on his three fights on his contract. We know 
he has a working relationship. Assuming he beats George Cambosis because he's going to dismantle George Cambosis, I say, in five or six rounds. Um, so what is the 22 hold? Well, you know, he's got his contract that obligates him to fight three times. I would say those three fights are, if I could, um, the first one, Devin Haney. Let's say that goes down to March. Or- the second one, uh, let's say that's July or August. That would be against Josh Taylor. And then the third fight, move it to the end of 2022, you know, December of 2022, a year from now, maybe this weekend, maybe last week in November, but they have the Heisman show. Um, oh, it's actually not. No, Lomachenko is the Heisman show. Yeah, when they give out the Heisman, that's Lomachenko fight. That's not this one. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so 2022, um, have them fight in December, the end of December. Over the summer, and then in the spring, and I, I would say those are his three fights. And I, I would do Haney, get all the belts, then fight in the summer, July, August, fight Josh Taylor, and then uh, assuming he win all those. I mean, that's assuming we can assume he beats Zepeda, assuming he beats Haney and Taylor. Is, I'm not saying he can't do it. I, I'd pick him to do it, right? But we can't really assume that he's going to beat those guys. That's a lot to assume. But if he does, then those two fights in December, he can take kind of an easy fight. Now, for the second time in three years, I think you have Tifima Lopez as the fighter of the year. I gave him the fighter of the year in 2020. It was, in 2020, it was a strange year, obviously. He only fought once, but he destroyed Lomachenko. Uh, 2021 uh, is obviously Canelo's year so far. It's a month left, I don't see that changing. And then, you know, so. Tiafimo Lopez, if he does that, he's right there with Canelo in the pound-for-pound pound ratings. Um, he would have all the belts in two weight in two weight classes. Um, you know, Usyk still, Usyk still has to be Fury to do that. So he'd be up there. He'd be two or three, uh, one, who knows, right? Let's see what happens with Canelo uh, in, in that year, too. But that's where Tiafimo is right now. So a lot of the excited about Tiafimo Lopez probably – Along with Virgil Ortiz and Butch Enos, are the best young fighters in the sport. They're going to carry the, you know, they're going to carry the sport uh, into the next era. And we have good news for Tiafimo Lopez. You know, we have him working with two promoters, two promoters who seem to like working with him. Um, and I, I think we can get some good fights out of it. I, I want him to keep his working relationship with Devin Haney. Um, I mean, with, with Eddie Hearn, so that we can get that Devin Haney fight. I want Tiafimo Lopez to keep his relationship working with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn, so we can get this Devin Haney fight. Um, because really what everyone wants, at least for now. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, do you like those three fights? Do you like uh Haney, Taylor, and then whatever he has to do mandatory at the end of the year, uh in 2022? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on all social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. It is November 26, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame. Please get him in. Uh, From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.